I'm proud of those guys, how hard they fought. And uh, I'm proud of how, how hard our offense played as well. It obviously wasn't efficient enough, wasn't good enough. Uh, I feel bad for Troy uh, being thrown into his first start and having to deal with wins that uh, were tough. I mean, it's hard enough being a brand new quarterback against a really good defense and then uh, those conditions. But, uh, you know, we just got to get better and more efficient on offense. I mean, that's, that's going to be the tremendous urgency around here. We got to be able to take a step. And play better offense. Um, proud of Shaq, uh, help us out there. He was a football player, uh, as we know. He can play whatever you need him to play. But uh, Deontay Cooper ran hard, did a nice job, and proud of how you know, he stepped up as well. What was the plan for Troy coming in? How much did the condition play in that? Well, yeah, we really, you know, I think the wind kind of surprised us a little bit. You know, we started hearing about these wind reports maybe late last, last night or so. Thought it might rain a little bit. We played the rain. I think these guys can handle and deal with that. But you know, that wind was was uh, was hard. I mean, it was hard. To, I mean, you're going against a really good defense, anyways. First and foremost, and then uh, to have to deal with that was was obviously too much. Um, it was a little bit too much for our kicking game. I thought that they executed their kicking game a little better than we did. But, uh, you know, there's no excuses. It was it is. They had a plan or two. They did a better job in it than we did. Did you feel an additional hesitancy at times from Williams on throws because of the wind, trying to gauge it, not necessarily knowing how it was going to play? Yeah. Uh, we just did not try to throw much down the field. And really, when we did the one time, it's when we you know, <laughs> just get the ball out. And I, did, I couldn't see if the routes were open or not but he, when he got hit and, and fumbled. Um, but yeah, that was something we kept wanting to take shots downfield, but we, we just didn't feel like the ball would stay on course at all. And so we kind of threw some shorter passes and, uh, you know, had, had some minimal success there. The way that you guys ran the ball on the driver, you got the field goal, just kept using the shack. Yeah. Why was it so hard to get that going? Yeah, that's a great question. I don't know. You know, it's, it's always in you sit there from the stands and from the sideline and go, doesn't appear that hard. And what's going on here that had been going on all game. And so we'll put that tape on and, and figure that out. They got to do a little bit of a rhythm. I think the backs are, you know, we got we got Arizona State on their heels a little bit. It was good. We got a little tempo going. But I just know our run game needs to be more effective and, and efficient for us to do what we need to do on offense, which is score more points. Chris, how do you assess your team now? You're one and three in Pac-10. You're five and three overall. But going forward. What do you think this team kind of fits in the Pac-12 pack and how good are, you know, what, is, yeah. how, what are the chances are going forward? I, I don't know where we fit. I mean, I really don't. Um, I think every game is going to be like this. I really do in terms of just a, a hard-fought game. Um, I think our defense has, you know, played, played pretty well most of the time. And we just got to get better on offense. I mean, that's that right now is where we're not good enough and, and we can get better. And we will. Do you expect Siler to start next week? Or? Uh, yeah, Siler should be back. And I don't think, you know, we don't want a guy to have to lose his position to an injury. You know, that's, that's not the right thing. Um, but I think it's good to get Troy those the reps that he got today. He's in really tough conditions. I think he'll.